Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to be moving. We're gonna be doing a 20 minute full body at home workout that requires zero equipment. So we're gonna be doing a total of 10 moves, two rounds through, so that'll be 20 moves, 20 minutes, and we're going to be doing 45 second intervals. So we'll be doing 45 seconds on, 15 second rests, and so on. So let's get started. All you're gonna need is a towel and a mat. So move number one, we're gonna start on the floor, working the backs of our arms in tricep dips. Let's get going. Here we go. Hands are about shoulder distance apart on those dips. Your booty should just barely be grazing the floor. We don't want any resting in between. Making sure you're really pressing into those triceps and into those heels. As always, you'll want to make sure that your core is engaged this entire 20 minute circuit. We're almost there you guys, keep it up. Great job, quick rest, we're gonna flip over and we're going to do assisted push-ups, so on our knees. Feel free to do regular push-ups as well. Let's go. This is a no judgment zone. This is all about progress and not perfection. So while it's important to push yourself, it's also important to not be too hard on yourself. Really exhaling to push yourself out of that push-up. Great job. Alrighty. We are going to stay on the floor, continuing to work the upper body. Actually, this is a full body move. We are doing planks with knee lifts. Making sure that core is tight, we're going to lift and bring our knee to our opposite elbow, switching sides. This is going to be working your shoulders, your entire body, really but we've got an emphasis on the core here with these knee lifts. You want to make sure that you're not arching your back too much. Again, engage that core, check in, make sure it's tight. And we're breathing. Awesome job. Continuing to stay on the floor, let's flip it onto our backs. Continuing to work our core, we're gonna do some leg lifts. Here we go. If you need that little bit of extra support, go ahead and place your hands underneath your booty. Trying to keep your legs as straight as possible. Again, exhaling on that lift up to really get that intensity in each and every rep. We're also working our hip flexors here. This is a fantastic core move. Great job, you guys. All right. Don't go anywhere. Next up, we've got glute bridges. So with bent knees, let's raise that booty up and down, really pressing those hips up towards the ceiling with each and every lift. On the way down, we're rounding through that spine so that each and every vertebra 
touches the mat individually. Really squeeze at the top. Great job. Next up, we are coming up. We're going to get into some high knees. All right, hanging in there. <laughs> Here we go. We should be on the balls of our feet here, raising those knees up as high towards the chest as possible. Remain nice and light in those toes. That core is still engaged. Chest is up, nice and tall. Those shoulders are back. We're so close, keep it up. Great job. Next move is lunges with a pulse. And a lift. We're gonna start with that left leg forward. One, two, three, twist. One, two, three, twist. One, two, three, twist. So this is working our quads. We're also working our obliques. All right, switch sides. Right leg is forward. Twisting towards the left. Great job. Okay, our next move is a plie pulse. So legs are wider than hips dis distance and we are going to be pulsing. Here we go. If you like, you can bring those arms out to the side for a little added balance. In this move, it's important that our legs are nearly parallel with the floor. We want to be pressing through those heels. Chest is up nice and tall. The spine is long. Our tailbone is slightly tucked under. And remembering to breathe. And again, this is all about progress, not perfection. Don't be surprised if you can't walk after this move tomorrow. <laughs> All right, next up, we're going to be doing side shuffles. So let's start at one side of the room. Follow me. Here we go. In that seated stance, we're gonna step it to the right three times, back to the left three times. Go at your own pace. All right, let's kick it up a notch. Let's squat it down just a little bit more. I am right there with you guys. I am doing all the moves and I am sweaty. <laughs> but that's what we're here for. Great job, we've got one move left in this first round of 10 moves, then we're gonna repeat everything for a total of 20 minutes. Last move is cardio heavy. We're doing burpees. Here we go. Jumping as high as your ceiling will allow. Again, this is a full body workout. 
and this one will leave you dripping in sweat. Try and get in at least three more here. Come on, one more. Woo. Great job. All right. Be sure to hydrate in between moves really quick and we'll get going on round two. Round two, we're back on the floor in tricep dips. Let's go. Let's do it. Here we go. Again, making sure that you're completely bending in those elbows to really work those triceps. We don't want any of this. <laughs> Pressing into those heels and your core is flexed. Really pressing into those palms. Almost there. Whew. Nice job. Let's flip it over back into those knee push-ups. Again, you can always feel welcome to do regular push-ups here if you're able. Let's do it. Press into those palms. Your hands can be wider than shoulder distance, keeping that spine strong and long and that core engaged. Push-ups have always been my weakness, but all the more reason to work even harder. Great job. All right, we are remaining on the floor. We are going to be doing our plank, raising those knees to opposite elbows. Here we go. Again, making sure to keep that booty out of the air. We don't want to see any of this. <laughs> this is a great twisting oblique action here. Breathing through each and every move. We're really working up a sweat here today. A little bit further. And rest. Great job. Staying on the floor, flipping it onto our backs. We're gonna go back into those leg lifts to continue working the core. Hands under the booty if you need that extra little boost of assistance. Keeping in mind again, perfection is temporary. Progress is constant. We're working at getting better each and every second, each and every move, every single day. Really driving those legs up. Focus on intensity and intentionality. Great job. Our next move, remaining on the floor for one last time, glute bridges. Knees are bent. Here we go.
Again, like I was saying, just being super intentional with, with each and every move, really focusing on which body part you're working. Where the mind goes, the energy flows. Great job. We're gonna come on up, get in a little cardio session here halfway through our last round with some high knees. We're standing nice and tall, bringing those knees up high, past the hips. Pump those arms. We are sprinters today, folks. <laughs> Don't forget to smile, especially if you're feeling it right now. A little bit of pain never hurt anybody. Great job. We're gonna go back into those lunges. Three pulses with the twist. Quick second to catch your breath. Let's get going in those pulses with the twist. Right leg forward first. Pulse three times. Bring that left knee up and twist. <laughs> Try to keep your balance. That is half the battle here. Halfway through, we will be switching to the other side again. And let's switch. One, two, three, and twist. Keeping that chest nice and straight. Awesome job. Next up, we're in that wider stance, wider than hips width, with those plie pulses, feet turned outward. Here we go. We've only got a couple of moves left, you guys. You can do this. I can do this. I hope. <laughs> Again, making sure that you are parallel, if not close to parallel with the floor. These part, these legs parallel to that floor. <laughs> you gotta have fun when you sweat. Almost there, keep it up. Great job. That move is seriously killer. All right, back to those side shuffles. Starting at one side of the room, three going that way. In that chair squat, here we go. Again, focusing on where you want that energy to flow. Thinking about those quads right now, those glutes, if they're starting to burn, that means you're starting to get toned. We're getting stronger and more sculpted. Take it down a notch. Bring that squat a little bit lower towards the floor. Weight is in the heels. We're breathing. Looking good, we've got one move left. Awesome job. All right, back to that full body cardio powerhouse, burpees. This is it, then we're through. Here we go. Again, jumping as high as 
your ceiling will allow. <laughs> For me, that's not much. Long arms, long legs, and a low ceiling. But hey, no excuses. We're working out at home. You can do this anywhere. Whew. That's it, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know the drill. Give it a thumbs up. Leave me some love in the comments below. Let us know what other kinds of workouts you'd like to see. If you've been sweating at home with a friend, give them a high five. Air five from me to you. You guys worked super hard. I did too. Be sure to rehydrate, refuel, grab a protein drink. We've got our favorite linked below as always. And until next time, eat, move, rest your best. Bye guys. If you guys like what you just saw from Aaron and you'd like to see my workouts with some minimal equipment, things you can still do at home, let us know in the comments below. Hey guys, Aaron here at Eat Move Rest and today we are going to be moving. <laughs>